say anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. I almost had no time to do a podcast today, but then I said, you know what? I've spent so much time helping everyone else. Mike's Daily Podcast. Today, I thought I would help the people listening to Mike's Daily Podcast. It's F- F- episode 2091. Life goes by so fast. You're doing this and you're doing that for everyone. And then you forget, hey, I've got this little bit to do this podcast thing and it's called Mike's Daily Podcast and it's been yeah run 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 uh and and getting lots of spam like Mike's texted to me daily about CBD oil podcast and masks yeah mandatory masks and natural turmeric and thank you so much Google messages for blocking those. Although I, I wish you'd make things a little bit easier to do. So yes, my plug and my slug for them today. Yeah, so busy today. And it's funny because there are some people that are not so busy that feel like wasting my time. Hey, Mike, you don't look like you're busy, so I'll waste your time. How about that? And I go, sure. That'd be nice. I'm going to talk about you on my podcast, though. Ha. Huh? Yes, it's one of those days where people are looking for their masks. Now I'm going to use my hand mask. A second. Does that work? Dr. Fauci, does this work? Hello? I can't breathe anything that will harm me. And what I breathe out will not harm anyone because it'll be stuck in my hands. Oh, did I remember to wash my hands? Eee, that's my ouch face. <laughs> well, eee. anyway, hand masks won't work. Hand sanitizers do. These are things we've learned on today's Mike's Daily Podcast, but yes, so. And here's today's podcast picture. It's of my pink slip. No, it's not. The, not the one where I got fired. The one where I have to get rid of my car is fired. I realized today I spent close to $500, $600 trying to get it to pass smog last year. And it to no avail. So I guess it's bye-bye, Mr. American Pie Car, Saturn. Once that great company that built cars in America... And you can see exactly where your car was built and what American built it for you. Built Ford Tough. No, wait, not Ford. General Motors, actually, affiliated with Saturn. Isn't that right, Basil? Yes. Is Basil in this picture? No. He's implied, though. Because we wish he could walk with us on this trail, this little walk near where I live in Podcastro Valley. Where we are today, at Cafe Anyway, the last place on earth. See that picture with a bunch of cool trees. We have so many interesting trees here in the Bay Area. And you can see some of these cool trees. This tree-lined path at mikesdailypodcast.com. Pictures to soothe you. And then Mike reads the news and tells you things like... Churches in California are suing Governor Gavin Newsom. The man... Who's always hoarse and who never ends a sentence because he continues talking. He'll take a break and have another run on sentence. And you get the idea. So three California churches are bringing a federal lawsuit against the state of California over Gavin Newsom and his COVID lockdown. Three churches are suing him. He bans singing in places of worship. Because when you sing, that's when you get the the COVID all over the place. I'm singing a wonderful song, a hymnal. But I have now spread germs all over everyone. So there's that going on in California. We've been all over the news lately, haven't we? I'm sure my mom way over in Florida is like, what's happening over there, my son? She calls me Schutz because she's German. If you ever meet any... German parents They like to call their kids shuts It's a little thing 
What's up with that? Hey, look who's there. Also, the U.S. infant mortality rate has hit an all-time low, according to the CDC. I sounded so Bill O'Reilly, <laughs> Bill O'Reilly there. CDC reports an all-time low. He stretches words, if you haven't noticed, if you listen to him. He likes to stretch his words and end his sentence hard. It's true. So I guess that's a good news piece for you. And and here's an interesting thing in the Black Lives Movement, Black Lives Matter movement. Got can't forget the matter. Because that's the matter. That's what's the matter, isn't it? it says so much, doesn't it? What I just said, maybe. The sculpture of Jen Reed was erected yesterday but removed within 24 hours. This is in England by Bristol City Council. Uh, Ms. Reed had been photographed standing on the empty plinth after the Colston statue was pulled down during protests. Mayor Marvin Reese said it was up to the people of Bristol to decide what would replace Colston's statue. The black resin statue of Ms. Reed called a surge of power was created by artist Mark Quinn and designed to be a temporary installation to continue the conversation about racism. He said he was inspired to create it after seeing an image of her standing on the plinth with her fist raised during the Black Lives Matter protest on June 7th. Mr. Quinn then contacted Ms. Reed through social media and they worked together on the statue. It was erected shortly before 4.30 yesterday morning. Ms. Reed said she fell, felt an overwhelming impulse to climb on top of the plinth during last month's protest. And the sculpture is about making a stand for my mother, for my daughter, for black people like me. Uh, but apparently they have removed it. Uh, it will be at the museum for the artist to collect or donate to our collection at a museum there. Okay, that's all the... Interestingness I can pull out of that story right now As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley Today Fast food workers strike nationally Alleging inadequate coronavirus protection In the workplace From Illinois to California Or just in Illinois and California I think that's what they're saying Fast food workers strike Call for more pay Advocates and low-wage workers see a new opportunity to end the 11-year wait for a higher federal minimum wage. That's also part of it. And then, oh, wow. France accelerated compulsory wearing of face masks over COVID-19 fears. So you got to wear a mask. And the hand mask won't work, I guess. And Target... CVS and Target join other major retailers in requiring masks in U.S. stores. We're outside a cafe anyway where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Look who's here. Hello, Mike Matthews. It's Kelly Stewart, gift shop supervisor. Okay, I think you need to wear a mask if you're in the gift shop looking for a snow globe to buy, Mike Matthews. That's right. Everybody here at Cafe Anyway has masks on. It's part of the covering the face, face coverings. Maybe we don't want to say masks. We'll just say face coverings because masks means Halloween and we can get scared. Halloween scary. What are you talking about, Mike Matthew? Masks. They're saving us. They're saving us and, and making us as we walk down the street. And oh, we can't walk on the same sidewalk together. I got to cross the street and get away from you. I don't think that psychologically is helping our society, is it? Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. This is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, yes, masks are important to keep the coronavirus from getting into your system. Mm-hmm. Don't you hand, use a hand mask. Mm. Use a hand sanitizer. Got it. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. This next show will be coming to you very quickly because I got to do an early in the morning tomorrow. So you'll be able to check back to MikeSalyPodcast.com and find it. You can call me at 336-MM-DAILY to tell me what you think about all this. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is a Mike Matthews. Daily 
as in what this podcast has been for quite a few days now. Thank you for listening. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.